Greetings everyone, my name is Jason Paradise Kuntz, and I'm your community manager on Toy Soldiers War Chest. First off, Happy New Year! Hope you guys had a fantastic holiday season. Welcome to 2015. For this video, we're going to be talking about the maps in Toy Soldiers War Chest. Toy Soldiers War Chest is an action meets tower defense game in which players must defend their toy box from incoming waves of enemies. This is done at the strategic level by placing and upgrading turrets, but you can also take direct command of turrets and heroes to decimate your opposition. Each map comes with its own unique theme, differing in terms of size, landscape, and setup. In Starbright's levels, you'll find bridges made of markers, whereas you'll see barbed wire for Kaiser in his European countryside diorama. The look and feel will vary depending on which hero you play as throughout the campaign and who you're up against. As you progress through a hero's campaign, the layout of the maps will change, creating a new level of strategy. In some levels, there'll be fewer build sites for turrets, making you carefully consider which turret you really want to build at that point in the map. With each map, there'll be varying types of enemy units, ranging from armored to infantry and even air. Each of these units has a unique location from which they are generated, and a unique path they take, ensuring that the map will have a distinct feel. In some levels, there will be one direct path that enemies can go through to attack your toy box. In others, enemies may be coming from multiple directions. If you encounter this, don't worry, there's still hope. You can now force enemies to change their path by simply blowing up a bridge or changing the train in another way. This allows you for more time to rebuild turrets or change your entire strategy. Speaking of changing things up entirely, let's switch back to a subject we brought up at the end of last month's video. We asked you guys to guess what the two unrevealed armies are for Toy Soldiers War Chest, and some people are pretty close. We can tell you for sure that those upcoming armies are not anime related. Please keep up the guesses in the comment section below, and the reveal of the next two armies will be coming in the near future. Finally, we're going to end with a question from the community. Andrew on YouTube writes, Are the teddy bears the pawns of the fairies? That could be interesting. Indeed, Andrew, that could be really interesting. Fairies and bears are played as two separate units, but the bears are going to be much more close quarters, close range units, whereas fairies are going to stay back as a ranged shooter type character. If you could imagine the fairies are sending in the teddy bears as a kind of tank to soak up some of that damage, I guess you could consider them as pawns, but uh, that's all there really is there. Thank you guys so much for tuning in once again to our Toy Soldiers War Chest community videos. We'll have more news coming in the coming weeks, so stay tuned. Reminder that Toy Soldiers War Chest will be available this year on Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and on the PC. Until next time, take care.